So my previous relationship so my previous relationship that I literally just got out of um, put me through a tailspin of PTSD over a lot of like crazy shit that my ex would just lose his fucking mind over. One of them being something that I am currently dealing with right now as we speak. Um, the PTSD of this situation where I um, we would start on a show together. We would start watching a show and and he would always fall asleep every single time without fucking failure. He'd fall asleep within the first like 10 minutes of watching it. And then I would continue to watch it. And then I would carry on and watch, you know, a couple more episodes ahead of him. And he would lose his fucking mind. He would get so mad, so mad to where like his back is turned to me. He'd go to bed angry. He would harbor this resentment for days, weeks over this kind of thing. And and so because of that, I stopped watching shows with him because he would get so fucking mad when I would watch episodes ahead of him, especially the shows where he would like fall asleep and show disinterest in. And so one of them being a show that I'm watching now that I'm literally jumping back into finally after like months of not watching it because of one of these situations with him. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's you on Netflix. I have seen every single season up to the brand new season that just came out. And I started watching it before bed every night. And he wanted to watch it with me, even though he's never seen any of the other episodes. So I would let him watch it with me and I'd be watching it in bed and he would fall asleep. He would show complete disinterest in it. And then he got so fucking mad because I carried on watching every single episode ahead. And obviously because I continued to watch it ahead of him, he would turn it into this huge, like crazy fucking heated argument, this huge fight. Um, instead of just being like, yeah, babe, it's whatever. Like, I don't give a shit. Or babe, can you go back and like rewatch the last couple episodes with me so I can catch up? Like I would have been so down for whatever, but he's got a busy schedule. He can only watch shit when he gets home from work, when he's already fucking exhausted and he's ready to go to bed and so he'd fall asleep every single fucking time and i want to watch my shit like you, you like we have so many shows or we had so many shows that we had together that i never watched ahead of him but there were some shows that i would watch for myself that he would want to watch with me like the handmaid's tale or like he started watching the show you with me and he would just go fucking crazy so the whole point of this rant um i started to re-watch the show you finally after like months of avoiding it and not watching it at all because i didn't want to get in a fight or an argument or even just like i just had ptsd over the specific show because it caused such a huge discomfort in our relationship and i'm gonna fucking cry over for this like this is crazy like i'm on my period so i apologize if i look like i'm being dramatic like <laughs> but like i just started re-watching this and like i almost had this like sense of ptsd like holy shit like is this safe to watch and it just started resurfacing like all those fucked up feelings and like all that tension and fear and all that weird shit. and i just like I, I, I hate myself for putting up with that for so fucking long and like now I'm trying to like pick up the pieces of all the you know the people that I pushed away and the things that I put off and the shows that I stopped watching and like all the things that I did to cater to his shit and his emotional fucking instabilities and his outbursts and all his crazy shit to cater to him and make him feel good and make him feel happy in this relationship with me or even just to make myself feel happy in this relationship with him and like this is one of those things and it's like really fucking hard right now i don't know why like i feel like someone's gonna come in and fucking yell at me right now anyways i don't even know why i started talking about this just thought that i needed to like vent about it <laughs> I think it's also like really emotional for me too because I finally have the freedom to c 
come out of my shell again and I don't have to hide or feel like someone is constantly breathing down my neck and hovering over me and watching my every move and criticizing everything that I do and telling me what I can and can't do and how to blink, how to shit, how to talk, how to breathe. And it feels really good. It's just... It's just weird because I spent so much time allowing someone to dict- dictate everything that I do with my life to make them happy because I'm a fucking people pleaser. Whatever. And it just, I just feel free now and it's, it's kind of, I was just saying that it just feels liberating but it's also stressful because I have no idea how to like navigate this right now. I, I'm still dealing with like the residual fears and like PTSD of the whole situation. So, so I'm gonna watch this and enjoy my life and feel free to watch it as much as I want and how long I want to watch it for and binge through every goddamn episode if I want.